G'day and welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth. Uh, in the last episode I'd finished creating my shack and uh, I've outfitted it with a number of things. I've got a, uh, a skin... Oh, the skin's actually finished drying. We now have a dried hide. What can we make with that? Oh, better armor. However, it needs a needle. I don't have a needle yet. Hmm. I can actually use it for making a canoe. That's pretty good. Sleeping bag. Is that going to be like a portable thing? Sleep with comfort anywhere. Uh, from here, we could actually make a piece of leather with dried hide and tree bark. Tense level of crafting going on here. Because I started off with a fresh hide. I've made a dried hide. And now I can actually make a piece of leather. So uh, that's pretty significant. Anyway, uh, we've got our lovely little setup. We've got a few more crafting stations. Um, the other addition here will be the Tanner's workbench. This is where we can basically take the fresh hide uh, to make ourselves a dried hide. Uh, and then you can string it up, basically. But we've got our setup. It's doing pretty well. I do want to expand on this. And the expansion will probably be happening after I go and investigate up there. It's a bit foggy at the moment. But... Um, you can't really make it out. That's the spot we're aiming for up there. Uh, as the journal says, climb to the white sign. I did, however, make a uh, bow and arrow. A bow and quite a few arrows, actually, uh, as far as the game is concerned. But for now, we'll stick with our spear and let's go for an adventure. All right, we're at the foot of the mountain. Uh, is there anything in there we can grab? Oh, kind of want all that. I was here earlier collecting other things, so I've already killed the bird that goes with this uh, nest. Problem is that's um, used a lot of time. This is the main issue I've got with this game at the moment. Is everything being so time related, I should be designating my tasks rather than just going hell for leather and doing everything all at the same time. Uh, we want to get up to... I feel like I've got to go right rather than left. We'll have a look. Right seems to be the right direction, but it doesn't mean it necessarily is. Okay. Can we get through? Nope. I'm going to take a scratch. No injury, thankfully. I feel like there should be scorpions here. Pile of scrap. No, it's only going to give me sticks. It'd be nice if it gave me planks. Hello. I haven't seen you before. Dragon fruit. Well, we'll grab it because it might open up some blueprints. No? Being restored. If we interact, 28 days. Yeah, that's fine. That's the usual uh, restoration time. This has got a pretty simple thing. There's no blueprints. You just quite literally eat it. Well, it's good though. I mean, 10 water as a consumable. It's quite nice to carry around. Hear a bird. There's two of them up there. Oh, we can hear a snake too. Uh, I want to go west, right? That way. I'm a long way off course here. Where is it? There. Oh, there's another one. Oh no. Right, this is check. Did it break? Oh man. Repair. 19 minutes. Needs a rock. I've got a rock, so that's good. We've got our spear back, but now. It is just about done. Oh, uh, well. All right. I'll collect this fruit because it's going to be nice to have. We'll check out whatever this is. Uh, a pile of rocks. Ooh. 50 minutes. Damn. Don't have enough time. I mean, I could just try and deal with being out for the night time. Stone deposit. Um, what does it require? It requires a pickaxe, which I don't have. I wonder if I mine that, will it open up a location? Like, is there actually something there? What's here? A little fence, some trees. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff to explore here, but this is all still going east. I want to go that way. Okay, it looks like I might have to, uh... Postpone the trip slightly. Go and get some rest. Uh, albeit that I could. Can I craft? Primitive bed of leaves. 
don't have any leaves. Okay, so we should be near the beach. Let's go downhill. I'm just going to remember that there's a stone pile there and come back for it. There's some trees. We'll go down to the trees. We get some stuff. We make a primitive bed and we sleep the night down here. Right, we got a runny nose, unfortunately. Uh, we got hibiscus back at base, so we'll be fine with that. Let's get back up and on track again. More piles of rocks. Oh, there's so many resources up here that I want. And yeah, that looks like bamboo, so that's a new resource I haven't seen before. Yes, hello. All right, have we got a rock? We do have a rock, so we can repair our gear if we need to. Another pile of rocks. That's probably the way I want to go, but then there's another way there. Ooh, flint. I haven't seen flint before. What's that going to be used for? Oh, blueprints. Let me have a look. Okay, if we get two of them, we can make a fire starter with plus 35. If we have a look at our other ones, our current one has 25. Yeah, so the flint is much better. <clears throat> Alright, we need to find another bit of flint. Right, we'll go this way, because it seemed like it was the right way to go. Ah, right, I do remember this spot. Um, this is where I came to the last time I was up here. I was just exploring because I knew that there was meant to be a water source. Uh, and... Ah! Damn it! <laughs> you rotten things. Take that. I can hear you over there. Oh, anyway, there's a water source here. Uh, but it's inside that thing. There's actually a resource here that I want to pick up now that I'm here. I want to get it on video. For now, let's just slaughter these snakes. Insufficient tool durability, of course. And then clay. Here we go, we got new things and we're overweight. But this is what I came in search for because um, this is before the rain catches were really doing their thing. Alright, so let's we'll just drink some of this water. There we go. But yeah, I came here to try and search for water because we've got this water source. And, and obviously clay as well. So we're well and truly overweight. But let's have a look. Clay. Clay is going to be required in a kiln. We're going to need one clay for that. So we've got to take at least two clay. Uh, chemistry workbench needs one. So we need three. For a charcoal pile, we need another three. Oh my goodness. We are going to need a tons. Oh, they weigh six. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're not, we're not taking the clay just yet. From memory, it's this way. Okay, this is looking more ruin-like. We've got our mural up there. It's just the block. It's very dark. I wish it would uh, flick over. Climb the stairs to the white sign. We're here. Oh, what's that? Bird potion. That's the strength of the birds for 12 hours. Uh, natives made medicine from living water. Temporary provides the ability to see through animal see animals through obstacles in concentration mode. Hmm. I haven't been using concentration mode, uh, mainly because I don't think I actually have a uh, thing for it yet. Um, that being said, I probably have lots of perk points that I haven't allocated yet. Yeah. Uh, and so here, for example, concentration, right? Now unlock the concentration mode, you hold down V and you can start seeing things. So we might as well actually learn this, right? Done. So V. Concentration mode. Okay, the allocated up top left you can see there's a timer going down. But yeah, you can see little points of interest while it's on. Uh, so let's interact with this. Song of the birds. Uh, okay, just a little blurb about. Uh, there's no safer path in the sea than the one shown by wise men from the tribe of birds. Okay, so it's just a little blurb about the tribe of birds. Observe the drawing. 
Uh, okay. Snake. Bird. Are we at the bird here? So basically there's different locations that we've got to visit. And we should have done that already. Uh, oh, it's off the map. It's over here. Need to come here at the right time. Poor visibility. Now, right, we'll go into the cave here. We'll see if it'll help with the wind. Uh, if not, we just got to wait for the cloudy stuff to go away. Yeah, I saw ya. It's going to be very difficult to make that one show up in the video, though. Should I be making offers to something in here? Hello. The native's map. Nice. Damn it, I missed. Oh, hello. An improved torch? Well, we definitely want that. And a dead Spaniard. With a location on a map. Alright, we definitely got to go and find that. <sighs> Wasting time, but it's done. We got fog again. Oh, you're kidding me. Let's go back. Hopefully this fog will lift soon, because we've got to get back to base. Partially cloudy. Let's go. Let's see if this works. Come on, come on, come on. Work. Hey. Spyglass. Is it scripted? It is scripted, I'm not touching anything. Okay, is that like a little light thingy in the distance? Is that all there is to it? Lonely rock. Okay, so... Build a dock and a sea vessel. So did it actually give me anything? No. Why not? Can I use the spyglass as well? I'd love to be able to just use it to scout out locations. Anyway, um, there's probably not three hours left in the day. My food is looking terrible. I'm not saying there's living water there. But we want to map this location from 624 range, 166 high. Let's map it out. Boom. That. Chronicles, interesting site. Okay, that's our water source, yeah, Chronicles, yeah. So that interesting site there, that was the um, the mural that I actually fulfilled. Okay, still lots of stuff down here. Snake potion. Okay, it's almost uh, night time. There's no living water. You're saying there's living water? Do I need to do some parkour or something like that to get to it? There it is. You are meant to do some kind of parkour. Living water. I have lots of living water now. <laughs> now I've got to go back to base. I've got to get food. I've got to get water. I was not prepared well for this trip. And I've got to come back and do this trip multiple times because there's so many wonderful resources up here that I need. Anyway, it's already hit night time, so it's time to uh, get back to base while I'm loaded down already. Maybe I can dump some stuff by the uh, clay pit here. Okay, we finally made it back. Let's uh, grab some bamboo 47 minutes that's fine resource from bamboo regenerate over time a few weeks so it's the usual 28 days right 24 days a little bit far just got cloudy out huh? there you are go away with you you weren't there before these like respawning super quick uh, and given that 
one of the items that I wanted. Where? Is this thing cut it from before? Huh? Are we set? These can be used for fire starting and there was another item that I just had. I think this game needs to change the timing of things, right? So I'm picking three cattails off a plant. That should take like one minute, not half an hour. So yeah, the, the timing of things is not really that good. Everything just takes too long, so you end up not having enough time in the day to really achieve what you'd like to achieve. Uh, this is going to weigh me down very quick, isn't it? Because these things weigh a huge amount. Yeah. And I need like four or five of these things. Well, I have to come back for another trip. We're just going to keep doing this over and over again until I have all the resources I want. Alright, we're all sorted out. Everything's uh, kind of in order. I would love to have actually done more farming, but the trip back and forth is just ridiculous. Uh, for now, let us do some of these points of interest. We'll have a look at this one over here, probably first. Uh, I believe there's probably one more out here. Um, I've got to do, there's a tree over here that I should probably use to map. Um, and there may actually be the option that if this spot here is higher than the tree, which is over here, I can possibly map all this out just by being over there. So we'll go over here first and check it out uh, and then depending on the time of day we then might head down to the beach over here and we'll have a look at the special interest spots over there which we'll leave there's a handful just over here and obviously the entire northern section of the map that I still need to do uh, but that can happen later on for now let's get stuck into it before the day runs out all right here we are you can see there's already a special interest point there it's flashing away it's nice how they highlight that for you uh, Everything else seems to be somewhat realistic, but then, you know, you get flashing objects like that. To totally detract from it, but at least you know there's definitely something there. Where's the shorty dog? Have I been here before? I haven't picked any of this stuff up. Um, but yeah, whether we need making a vessel. Buffalo potion. Oh, surely that's like strength or something. Uh, cures four ranks. Of all diseases so I've only actually had up to I think it was the third rank of uh, food poisoning which was diarrhea so there's another one on top of diarrhea so buffalo heals everything plus you get health regen 126 health over two hours and six minutes or does it restore maximum health and then you can't use it again for another two hours six minutes interesting still that's uh, ridiculous and um, if we look at our character it was alchemy the first rank of alchemy perk point is unlocks the buffalo potion recipe so I know that alchemy bench was definitely a thing I haven't built one yet can we interact with that so obviously uh, creating a alchemy station might actually be quite worthwhile although if it's going to use um, living water I've got three living water that I could obviously turn into other potions if that's required raw clay pot so that hasn't actually been into the kiln yet maybe crafting resource cannot be used for storing liquids can be crafted from clay strips fired pot so yeah I need to use the kiln to actually turn it into a real pot fair enough Ancient Monument. Song of Great Thirst. The elders saw the seeds of discord were being sown and that trouble awaits if there are so many, so much envy in the hearts of men. Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah, they've obviously got problems with people stealing the water. Well, basically coveting the water. Maybe we go to this spot. Yeah, we're getting up. That's good. Now just don't rush too far. It's about to fall off the other side. So there, there's the tree. All right. Don't you attack. Now, I could do this because this seems to be quite far forward. And so it might actually capture around there. Or I could go a bit further up. 
I can get up there, see how high I can get, and that might pick up a little bit more. Still, what are we now? 91, 400 range. I mean, it's pretty good. Now well, let's do it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I didn't get right up to the point there of the map, but that did most of it. So yeah, we're pretty well sorted. So yeah, we didn't quite get that little point over there. But I'm not too worried about it. Very good. There was a doggy over there with some bamboo, which we can fairly well ignore. We are definitely great. Oh, there's two of them. That is really nice because they're really high in water. So we're going to eat them straight away. Oh, beautiful. Giant mural. Let's have a look. So, someone was brought in chains. Uh, they have a frog that was put into a bowl. They were forced to eat the stuff from the frogs and you assume that they died. So this is some weird kind of execution. Maybe because they stole the water. Song of Punishment of the Gifted. It's kind of like we actually need the uh, previous step from this one, right? It's part of the story. It looks like people who actually were uh, had a long life due to the water were obviously hated. Uh, and as a part of some kind of a war, they were all killed. But, you know, such is the, uh, the way of things, I guess. People were greedy or uh, jealous of what they couldn't have. So, you know, how dare you have a long life, so we'll kill you instead. Right. Can't harvest the bone off that, no. Ooh, another piece of the map. Nice, we got three. I think I needed five, didn't I? Who knows? Actually, um, map. And three out of five native maps. Yeah, there we go. Can't pick up the skulls. Oh. Look at that. There's no sharks in the water, right? We um, might be going swimming. Snake potion. Yeah, there's definitely something there. Into the water we go. Doesn't appear to be any uh, sharks, which is good. A little bit of breath. And then down we go. Here it is. Snake potion. This will obviously be a poison potion, right? Yeah, they killed heaps of them. Alright, we're back at base. It's raining. Rains are actually quite a welcome sight at the moment because uh, every time it rains, my uh, water collectors fill up and I get an overabundance of water now, which is uh, just wonderful. Uh, just to finish off what we actually did there before, the snake potion is basically the strength of the snake for one day. Temporary halts the consumption of food, water, and energy. I was actually expecting that to be a, a negative effect potion, as um, it was right there on the mural uh, to do with poisons. But it's actually something quite beneficial. Uh, and in terms of a temporary halt, uh, it does say one day, so maybe you don't use food, water, and energy for an entire day. And this kind of lends itself to my theory that I thought that if you make one of these potions, you're going to have to sacrifice one of your living water potions. Uh, and because that kind of a buff is actually quite significant so um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case uh, but it does kind of mean that when we do find the fountain of youth that I'm hoping it has a renewable source so that um, obviously you can't just make infinite potions because these things is just ridiculously powerful right but you should be able to make a little bit of a stockpile of them uh, so that they are of use because if I've got this one thing that cures all of these diseases it becomes just a single use item to heal all my diseases once and then you know I can possibly make another three of them but then that's it for the rest of the game kind of thing so hopefully the number of living water that we actually can find is uh, not finite and is actually renewable albeit it's going to be a slow resource together uh, but really this episode's already dragged out long enough. Uh, I didn't manage to finish all the other things that I actually wanted to do, which is, I've got to zoom all the way out to get this sort of uh, 
uh, are focused on what I want to look at. Obviously, we want to go have a look at this chronicle that I've... Oh, no, that's the head, uh, which was the walkway up into the mountain. So I'm pretty sure I've got that one. We need to go and have a look at all these special objects. I believe there is another chronicle hiding underneath there. At least there's probably another... Uh, special object and I have to map out the northern region of the map and as soon as I've done all of those things I've effectively done this island we'll then need to expand the base so that we get a shipyard and then we can get off island or at the very least uh, and I probably can't actually see it from here uh, but over that way is basically the the stone monument that it was talking that we needed to go and investigate and so yeah, essentially the next episode will be finishing off this island in terms of uh, interest points. So I've got one chronicle left to go, which makes sense. Uh, I've done pretty much all of these ones. So there must be one more item in the north here. I saw a flashing object up there, so that's probably it. And then when we zoom out and we have a look at this whole thing, uh, we're looking at this one. So I'm missing 10 interesting sites and two pieces of the native maps, but also two sets of tools. And so I guess there was the map to the Spaniards camp. So we're going to look at the Spaniards camp. Uh, we'll have a look at what interesting sites we can find and clear out the map. Hopefully that won't take too long. Uh, it should be pretty quick because they're just, you know, if, as long as the islands mapped, you can find them by the looks of it. And then we'll build a shipyard, get ourselves onto a ship and potentially have a look at what other locations there are here. Like the, the little stone pillar that it's suggesting that we go and visit. And that should make a pretty good episode for the next one. And beyond that, once I've done those things, we're probably trying to find the next unknown region. And hopefully, because we've got this one, it's actually got a little bit of a mapped point. So maybe that's the one we're actually going to. But we need to find copper. Because uh, there's a number of items, especially upgrading my gear to the next level that requires copper. So that's really what it's going to be all about. Anyway, thanks for listening in. Make sure if you like the video and you've made it this far, thank you very much. Like the video, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.